Good morning. My name is Carter Moline. I live in Norfolk, Virginia, and my daughter Olivia and my wife Jacqueline have been consistent residents of Norfolk since my con daughter was born over 20 years ago. I have provided you with two pages of a Norfolk RFP for foster care placement services, one Norfolk document from CAT Team 3, and one page of an IEP. On page five of the Norfolk RFP, it clearly states that the Norfolk City Foster Care Committee is the word and acronym CAT. The IEP document basically says that the child goes to CAT. Then CAT Team 3 on June 21st, 2016 has a meeting and my wife and I are in this meeting. There's no public notice, no data from that meeting, no notes, no indication of what this law is. The only thing that was documented was my signature, my wife's signature, and the signatures on the document. I have come to the realization that CAT Team 3 is almost certainly a foster care committee. And my daughter went to this committee through an IEP and without a due process. Now what I'm talking about here is an extremely serious legal problem. My daughter was supposed to be under an educational system for autism and instead was in the foster care system outside of the code of Virginia. The Norfolk City Attorney is the legal counsel for everything in the city of Norfolk government. That includes the IEP, the Norfolk Public Schools, and the entire foster care system in the city. He is responsible for the existence of CAT Team 3. Now, if CAT Team 3 is moving money that should have been moved in a FAPT under the Virginia Children's Services Act, then this is money laundering and wire fraud. Without a meeting notice, it's child trafficking. The IEP has nothing to do with this. The Virginia Children's Services Act, the Virginia Comprehensive Services Act, the CAT Team 3, these are all Virginia creations they are not designed to work with an IEP because they are legislated separately from an IEP. Let me know what to do. This violates my daughter's civil rights, constitutional rights, and human rights, and yet nothing has been done to give her justice. So I don't know if you understand this, but I kind of think that if my daughter's in foster care, they should like bring the cops and take her away and they can say, well, the parents live in a nice house. The parents have jobs, they make money. Why are you doing this? Well, it's fraud. My daughter wasn't in a foster care home, but foster care money was activated through the Children's Services Act. No educational money was activated in that committee. So this really looks like fraud. 